uh, taking a course on the industry and so finding out some different components and how wealth is built and so on and so forth. And it, was, it was unbelievable. And that's why I met Mark, and, I, and I'm just good friends with him. And extremely successful in this industry. You're an extreme international author. And let's get right down into it. How many people do you know who've been very successful in the networking industry? And I'm talking six to seven figure earners. There was a totally different level of expertise and big money than I had even even knew about. Because I was, you know, my I was in New Skin, and basically Claire McDermott and Craig Bryson and Craig Tilson and Richard Call, these guys were all making several hundred thousand a month. But they weren't making over a million. I didn't know that that upper echelon even existed. So what I would say to your people that are listening is, you just think a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand a month is big money. Frankly, that's chump change compared to some of the people in this industry. So I don't mean to kickstart my mouth and talk too long, but you asked me one of my favorite questions. How many people do I know that make the big money? Tons and tons and tons of people. <laughs> tons of them. What do you feel the top differentiating factors between the people who are successful versus the people who are not successful in the industry? Well, first of all, timing. I mean, you know, you, you're dealing in a situation now where you're rolling out a very uh, ecologically sound, non-toxic line that's good for the planet at a time when everybody's in at a very early ground floor position. And one of the things I taught in my college course for years is if a company is beyond $10 million a month, I'm not, I'm not even looking at it generally. I mean, you want to get in real early if you can. You know, I heard Angie talk about how your objective is to create a billion-dollar, uh, you know, international brand. And without that component, as far as I'm concerned, Michael, and, and I know you and I have had this discussion for years, years, and then was a consultant to a lot of other companies because he's a genius when it comes to comp plan design. And basically... Jerry looks for one thing, black swans. You know, what? where's the black swan? So when Jerry says it's going to happen, people need to pay attention. I mean, you're talking about a guy in his 60s who's managed the assets of some of the biggest money people in the United States. Well, I know, you know, you have, you yourself have, you know, you've transformed my life. You've transformed many uh, hundreds and thousands of people's lives in this industry. And And what is your most touching story you know, someone that was in your organization that you helped, what do you think was the most, what was the one thing that really stuck out that you, somebody that you helped? You know, it's easy to tell you without equivocation. I had actually retired and moved to Switzerland. You know, I made so much money. I got to put, once I got up over 150000 a month, it was like zippity doo dah every month all the way to the bank. And I came back from paragliding. And there was a little the little light on my answering machine was beeping, so I knew I'd had a call. And I couldn't believe it, because I seldom did. So I sat down and I played a message that would really, uh, Michael, I would say that of all the things that have happened to me in network marketing, this was the most rewarding. Back in, in 1989, I sponsored my maid in Aspen, Colorado, Kathy Dennison into New Skin, and my Kathy had never done anything. She, she didn't even have a GED from high school. She was cleaning my toilets for a living. She was a single parent of a teenage daughter, came out of an abusive marriage where she'd been beat up a lot. Her husband was a drunk. She was living by herself in a little tiny apartment, cleaning houses for a living, and I got her into New Skin, and I told her how to do the business, and to her credit, she was just an unbelievably hardworking, energetic maid, and, and, that, and here's what it said. Kathy Dennison, my maid from 1989 Aspen, in a quivering voice, said, Mark, I just want you to know that an hour ago FedEx showed up with my millionaire's pen. And I wanted you to know that I am now officially a millionaire. And I just want you to know something that's real important to me. In my whole life, you are the only human being who ever believed I had the ability to make something of myself. And now that I'm a millionaire, I just had to track you down and tell you that I really, really appreciate what you've done, and so does my daughter. And she was crying, and she hung up. Well, and I got on the phone thinking, you know, it, it, there's more to life. There, there are more adult report cards than money. And that's one of them right there. That that was unequivocally the best thing that ever happened to me in my whole networking career. Here, all you have to do is 
build two legs, that's it, and you get a 100% matching bonus, um, a matching bonus uh, plan on the, uh, a bonus check on anybody you personally bring into this company. Can you imagine what kind of checks can be made like that? Well, it's almost a joke. It's almost like being having a license to steal. I mean, give me a break. We had to do 12 frontline people each doing 3000 a month to get paid six levels. You're talking about building two legs to get paid to infinity with a 100% matching bonus? Are you nuts? I mean, with 12 people going down two legs in your company. I mean, it's a joke. So, and matching the bar, and matching their paycheck. And matching the paycheck. Bring in. It's like insane. Or you kiss like going down the street and having your wife say, honey, excuse me, but is that a bag of money over there? Should we <laughs> stop and pick up that bag of free money? No, I'm going to pass on it. <laughs> but, honey, there are $100 bills poking out the top. Nah, there's got to be a trick. Honey, please stop the car. It's a bag of free money. Nah, let's go on. <laughs> I want to get to the Dairy Queen. Your warm market is the thirty to 50,000 people who will warm up to you the minute you call them because they know you've got something, an affinity, something in common. So, for example, I'm a paraglide instructor. So what do I do? Well, a few years back, I went to the United States Hang Gliding Association, USHGA, and I got a list of 34,000 paraglide and hang glide pilots in North America. So let's say that I'm – let's say I, I see Michael's name on there. And I call Winter, I say, hey, Michael, my name's Mark Yarnell. I'm a paraglide instructor up here in British Columbia. You still flying? Boom, instant rapport. Why? Because he's a paraglider. We don't have, he doesn't say to me, where'd you get my name? It's, oh, yeah, far out. I'm still paraglide. Great. I want to know what kind of wing you're using and everything. First, let me ask you a question. Yeah, well, no, forget the question. This is going to sound crazy, and I want to talk to you about your wing and your paragliding. I want to tell you about the thermals I've been getting up here in British Columbia this summer. It's just been kicked up. We have flown cross-country. every day. It's been unbelievable. But listen, this is going to sound insane, Michael, but we have found a way for paraglide pilots to make thirty to 50000 a month and fly five days a week. Grab a pen i got to give you some information. You're not going to believe it. You know what these people said? Oh, no kidding. Thirty to 50000 a month. Yeah, we're flying five days a week. Listen, write this website down. You know, boom, they write it down. I tell people all the time, if you're not going to do this for three years, don't even sign up. I mean, bottom line, if you're going to get in a company, you better give it 36 months because it's going to take you 36 months to even know that and master that company. But the people jump around like jumping beans. I mean, you can't go from deal to deal to deal to deal. It doesn't work that way. You find the product you believe in because it makes the world a better place. And the ownership, hopefully, has been in the business a long time like Michael. They know, understand professional corporate governance in our field, not in, you know, downtown apartment complexes. They know network marketing. And then you make a decision. I'm going to do this for the next 36 months minimum before I ever consider my other options. And whatever you do, don't try to do two at the same time. Multiple streams of income are a joke. They do not work. It takes too much effort to build one organization in network marketing. You're like a carnival barker. Oh, Bob, you don't like what I've got up this sleeve? Let me show you what i got over here. Right. You know, you're not even taken seriously. You're like selling Aunt Maud's elixir out of the back of a wagon train. <laughs> it's goofy. No, just do one at a time. Do it for three years. That's the best advice I can give everybody. Absolutely. And what I would say to your people is the reason I'm on this call is because I've had occasion to call Michael when I needed help. Now, I'm a veteran of this industry, but not long ago I needed some really important professional advice from a guy in the know. And I got on the phone and I called Michael and Michael spent 30 minutes unselfishly unraveling a very significant problem. Why? Because he knows what he's doing. So what I would say is you've hitched your your wagon to a star, ride it to the moon. You know, that's my theory. Absolutely. Well, thank you again so much, Mark, and God bless you. And I'm really glad you, you came on and spent some time with